Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. All right, this video is all about changing the background color and then uh, learning about shapes and drawing kind of basic shapes. Now you'd be uh, inclined to skip this one because it seems quite basic, but there are some issues when it comes to flash and the way it draws objects that you should probably check out. So we're gonna create our first document. We could go to file new or we could use this create new. Just make sure that it says HTML5 canvas. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna put it onto my desktop. I'm gonna make a new folder called uh, let's call this one uh, Adobe Animate Project Files. Great, I'm going to give it a name. When you're naming your files, uh, there's a bit of a naming convention, so I'm going to call this one uh, Drawing Shapes, but we're going to call it Drawing, and you have to use underscore shapes or hyphens. It's up to you, but don't leave spaces in there. It causes problems later on. Great. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color. It's easy enough to do. It's called the stage over here. You have to have nothing selected. So if you've got something on your stage, you might not see this. So you deselect by clicking in the background using this black arrow here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the stage and you can walk your way through these. These are the kind of pre-made uh, colors for you, pre-made swatches. If you've got a specific brand color you're going to be working with, then you can click this little uh, rainbow wheel in the top right. Click on him and you can type in your RGB color or your hexadecimal number if you know it. Okay, I'm going to cancel. I'm gonna pick a random color, that'll do for me. Okay, and what I'd like to do now is do some basic drawing. So I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool. Okay, and you've got a stroke, which is the line around the outside, and the fill. So that's gonna be the center of my rectangle. And so what I'd like to do is get rid of the stroke. I don't want a line around the outside. And to do it, you use this small little icon here, this little one that has a red line through it. Click on that. Okay, so there's gonna be no stroke and the fill color. I'm gonna use, uh, what am I gonna use? A darker gray. I'm building a kind of a city uh, nightscape thing, okay? Just because it uses really simple shapes. So I'm gonna draw the building. Great, and it all seems very normal, okay? Until you start doing some other things. So say I want to now draw some windows. So I'm gonna use uh, some windows, they're gonna be black. I'm gonna draw them, so say I start drawing them straight on the building here, okay? Great, nothing really happens except when I want to move it, watch this. If I use the, uh, the black arrow, okay, which is called the selection tool, and if I click this and now move it off, can you see it's left a big hole in my uh, original rectangle, which is a bit weird if you're used to other programs like Illustrator or Photoshop. Okay, so they like to kind of fuse together. So I'm gonna go undo, edit, um, undo, so control Z or command Z, undo, 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 until I get back, undo, until it's gone. So to get around that, there's a couple of things. Um, uh, the easiest way is to group it. So if I select you and go to modify group, where are you? Group. Now if I draw something over the top, it won't get joined. It also does something else a little weird. Okay, watch this. If I draw my rectangle, it doesn't seem to appear. Because so what happens is things that are grouped are always on the top. So you can see there he is. Hello. Okay, he's underneath. So what you tend to do in Flash is that um, instead of, so I can group him now. So I'm going to use my shortcut, which is Command G or Control G on a PC. And now he'll be there. That's great. Um, or what I tend to do is this. So in this, I just draw them on the side here and move them on afterwards. So draw it, select it. Okay, using my selection tool then go to group and then move it on afterwards. You could use layers, which we're gonna do in a little bit, okay? But you just need to realize that a couple of things. One is that if they're not grouped, they will slice out of each other. And if they are grouped and you've got things that aren't grouped, they end up hiding underneath, okay? So just some interesting things um, before you go off and start drawing stuff in Flash. Um, another interesting thing is if I draw a shape, let's say I draw another little building down here, okay? And what, what is that? I'll grab my selection tool. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Okay, and watch this. If I hover above this line, can you see my icon changes? The little arrow gets a little bent um, line around it. It means I can do weird stuff like this. You see, I can start dragging this. I don't know what kind of building this is now. But um, it means you can do some weird stuff where you can grab the corners and start adjusting it 
okay because this is kind of ungrouped shape once it's grouped you can't do those things you could ungroup it and do it that'd be work fine but just one of the would you call it a benefit yeah it's kind of handy um i do i tend to draw all of my stuff in illustrator first and bring it in to um, adobe animate that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with that um or you can draw straight into adobe animate there's nothing wrong with that either just whatever you're quickest with the most comfortable with the tools all right so before i go i'm going to go through and duplicate this guy so i'm going to go copy paste i'm just using copy paste a uh, control c control v on my keyboard Okay, I'm going to line these up. Now I'm going to select all of these. There's an alignment tool. So I'm going to window where you go align. And I'm going to use one here, distribute centers. Great. And I'm going to grab them all and just bump them across. I'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard. Okay, just using the little arrow keys to bump it left and right. And another cool trick in Flash, or sorry, Adobe Animate, I've got to stop doing that. Okay, Adobe Animate is that I can hold down the Alt key on my keyboard or the Option key if you're on a Mac. And watch this when i start dragging it can you see it made a duplicate okay so i'm going to hold alt and drag these guys down so, so i've got a bunch of them those are the windows for my very basic building all right let's go to the next video all right that's it for the free video it was pretty good right what i really want you to do now is i want you to go and sign up for my full course uh, i'll put a link in the description if you're keen i have loads of other good free stuff so make sure you subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and yeah, how did I, good YouTube people?